Hi everyone, welcome to your first uke lesson. Maybe you just got an ukulele for Christmas and now you want to learn how to play it. Or maybe you've had one sitting around for a while and you haven't had a chance to learn yet. So here's a, an introduction to all the basics of ukulele. Um, we're going to learn how to hold the uk, how to strum, how to play three important chords to start with, and then we're even gonna play a song. We're gonna play Three Little Birds by Bob Marley. So let's get started. Um, first, the question I always get is, how do you hold an ook? Yep, so you can start by putting it at 10 o'clock across your body. Yeah, you want the neck to kind of be at 10 o'clock. And then you can put your left hand out and cradle the ook in this crook of your hand, right? I like to let it sit on the knuckle, kind of like this inside knuckle part of my hand. So you let it hang out there so that you can grip it like this. Eventually, um, you can have more freedom with the hand, but when you're starting out, it's really good to just kind of use this as your anchor point to know that your fingers aren't moving too far and your, um, your wrist isn't gonna move too much. Okay, and then on the right hand, yeah, you're gonna wrap your arm around the ook. Um, this picture is like a little bit short for this, but what you're gonna do is come around, right, and wrap your fingers, let, loosely grip the bottom of the ook here, right, with your right hand, and then use your thumb to strum across the, the strings. So see if you can get a nice clear tone. Oh, I got something rattling in my tuning. Yeah, so that's what you're trying to do. Make sure you can get each of those to be clear. So that's gonna be your standard holding position. And when you're sitting, you know, you like, um, you can rest the ook in your lap, but otherwise you should be able to just stand up and hold the ook like that. And as you get more advanced, you don't need to hold it underneath. Um, just to see how comfortable you are with that. So let's take the strum. Hold on, I'm gonna see. Okay. Make sure we're working here. Good. So next, all right, how do we strum? This is a good place to start. So first, I like to tell everyone to, to call out the names of the strings, right? So from the top to the bottom, we have G, C, E, A. Let's try that again. G, C, E, A. And so this is how you can learn to tune your ook as well. So make sure that each of those strings is nice and clear when you play them with your thumb. G, C, E, A. And then you can use a tuner app online um, or on your phone, or you can use one of these. This is called, this is a Snark brand tuner. It's pretty cute. Uh, basically, I like it because it works by vibration. Um, it's, well, it's not attached to anything and not vibrating right now. But um, you're going to tighten and loosen the pegs until you get it to, to show up as green in the middle of your um, of the tuner there. Yep. So get used to playing through the G C E A nice and clearly. And so you're starting there, playing each string clearly before we start strumming. What happens a lot is that people get excited and they're like and they want to play all the strings all the time. But then sometimes you miss the string and you're just kind of like blanket hitting the string. What you want to do is make sure you can play each clearly and then play it faster. All right. I have something rattling here. You can ignore that. All right. So that's our our open strings. Now, let's 
let's get to okay strumming with the thumb so you're gonna practice coming across the strings and then back up So this also will take time to strum upwards. You're using the back of your thumb, your thumbnail. So if we strum down with the, you can use the flesh of the thumb. And then back up. Let's strum down. with your index finger. So this might be harder, but something to get used to as well. Right? You're gonna use your index finger and strum each string down. Again. Now faster. Make sure you're hitting each string. Now I'll try it upwards. Upstrum. And here you're using that flesh of your finger. So let's try with the index finger down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Good. We're actually not going to use the upstrum today in the song. We're going to keep it nice and basic with just the downstrum. But uh, it's something to work on for future songs. Yeah. So now we got a strum. We got uh, our string names. Let's start on a chord. And so if you go to uh, the, the description there, you can uh, download a PDF for our first lesson, which is Three Little Birds. And then uh, on that lesson, you'll see chord charts. So this is the way that chord charts look um, for ukulele, yeah? So for the C, you have, I'll just get a nice chord to show you. C, go this way, C, yeah? You have a three, which means the ring finger, and you're gonna put it on the third fret. So you could turn the chord chart to the side to understand how it works with, alongside. Yeah, your neck here. So I have the first, second, third fret. I'm gonna use my ring finger for C and put it on the bottom string. So that's our C chord. And you want to make sure you get your knuckle nice and bent there. You're not trying to be flat with your finger across the string. You want to really get up on the tip of your finger. So that takes some time to build that finger strength. So let's try that. We're going to start by playing it. Play, oh, I'm playing the wrong key. Playing individual strings. Make sure that you can get that C to be nice and clear. If it's not clear yet, a lot of it is just about finger strength, right? So you could just use your other hand to push down on it. Get, see how much pressure you need. Uh -huh, and then strum that faster. That's our C. Let's look at our chord chart and we're going to try F. F here, one and two. So it's going to look like here's your index finger on the first fret, your middle finger on the second fret on the top string. Okay, so that's our one and two. Can we look at the chord chart again? F. Okay, 
So we're going to pluck each string out. Again, it's getting those knuckles to be perpendicular to the fretboard. You want to really work on that finger strength of, of like, it's like hammering those nails into the fretboard. the challenge now we're going to switch back and forth between C and F so everybody remember your C C is the one of the easiest chords to play so C is your friend you're gonna move that ring finger back to that third fret for the C yeah. <laughs> practice a technique called anchoring leave that C there try to put down the two other fingers for F okay it requires your fingers to learn to stretch your fingers might not know how to stretch that much yet it'll come with practice so you put down the two fingers for F pick up the C finger and to C. Leave these fingers where they are. Stretch your fourth finger out onto the third fret. Go. C, two, three, four. C, two, three, four. F. look at the first verse of our song All right, so we're looking at three little birds which you could get from um, the link in the description it's a PDF chord chart okay so we're gonna start with that C and let's just walk through the um, the chord pattern here so we're gonna do four strums Per chord that's written there so it's gonna go like this don't worry two three four about a thing still on C two three four move to F cuz every little thing is gonna be all back to C right two three four C don't again it's gonna move pretty fast and you can um, sing along with me or you could just let me sing and then you can play focus on those core transitions I find it can be helpful to actually look at your fingers to make sure that they are moving the way you want them to back and forth on those core transitions okay so we'll start with C two three four don't worry about a thing two three switch f cause every little thing is gonna be all back to c right two three sing and don't worry about a thing two three f cause every little thing is gonna be back to c all So, we've got our C and our F, we've got the first half of the song. The second half of the song is a bit more challenging, but also introduces a really important chord, which is G. 
So look at your chord chart for G. So if you look at G, one, two, three. I think of it as an arrow pointing towards you. Yep, so you got one index, middle stacked underneath it, ring finger pointing towards you. It makes a little arrow pointing towards you. Okay. So let's play that individually. So this is challenging. It's three fingers. Also, you really have to get up on those fingertips because if your fingers flatten, then they might hit the string below and deaden that string. So you got to be really careful to make each nice and clear and also use the strength of your fingers. It will take time. Let's practice a little bit each day. Strum it a little faster. Good. G. Okay, let's stop one second, shake it out. You might need to shake out your hand if your fingers are getting tired. Now go back to G. Okay, we're gonna stack, index, middle stacked underneath, ring finger, making that arrow pointing at you. Yeah, pointing this way. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna start with G, and then we're gonna switch back and forth between G and C. So, G, C, G, C. Again, G, C. Now let's just start with G. We'll go on uh, rounds of four. Two, three, four. G, G, two, three, four. G, two, three, C. Now let's introduce F. Remember our F? Look at your fingers. How do we go back to F? Now we'll go back to C. going from G to F. Move that index middle finger. There you go. Back to G. Anchor that ring finger first. Put that ring finger down. Back to G.
right, let's try the second part of the song. Okay, it moves pretty fast. So it's going to be four strums per chord, and we're switching pretty quickly, right? Pretty much every measure we're switching. So just keep on top of it. See if you can get your brain to send the signal to your fingers to move a little bit before that time that you need to move. All right, so we'll start with C on Rise Up This Morning. Two, three. Rise up this morning. Smile G with the rising sun. Back to C. Three little birds. F pitch by my doorstep. Back to C. Sing in sweet songs. G a melody is pure and true. Say an F. This is my message to see you. Okay, that moved pretty fast. So we're gonna try it one more time. Same thing, yeah? We're going C, G, C, F, C, G, F, C. A lot of moving. So just see if you could keep on top of it. And we'll start with that C. So rise up this morning. Two, three. Rise up this morning. Get ready for G. Smiled with the rising sun. Back to C. Pitched by my doorstep to the sea, singing sweet songs. G, a melody is pure and true to the F. Saying, This is my message to see you. All right, that's the second half of the song. Okay, you can always come back and practice this more. Let's try the whole song. All right, we're going to go back to the beginning of the song. Remember, don't worry about a thing. It's C, C, F, C. Okay? So let's start from the top. Two, three, four. Don't worry about a thing. top again. We're going to do it one more last time. Starting on that C. Two, three, four. Don't worry about a thing. want to get a little more advanced you can add a 
um, a backbeat strum, which means uh, you strum a little bit faster. It's going to go, don't worry about a thing. Because every little thing is going to be all right. Sing and don't worry about a thing. That's the way you end every ukulele song. <laughs> so thanks for tuning in for this uke lesson. Um, keep practicing every day. It does take a while to build up that finger strength. So five, ten minutes a day is better than, you know, trying to uh, work your fingers too much in one sitting. So keep practicing and I'll see you next time.